Then I'll talk about the reinforcement learning. As you know from the machine learning course, that uh, if you talk about ML, there can be three categories. The first one is the supervised, the supervised learning, uh, unsupervised learning. And the last one is the reinforcement learning. So what is the idea behind the reinforcement learning and how different? The idea is for supervised learning, you have an input vector and the target level. Your input can be in any dimension of n, maybe two, three, four, even n is one. It's fine, but you must ha you must have the label or the tar target label, and you have to learn what is the target and try to predict this target values. This is the goal of the supervised learning. So the second one, the unsupervised learning, how different? Uh, the difference between uh, the supervised learning and unsupervised learning is quite simple. Sorry. It's quite simple that the supervised learning, unsupervised learning, you have just only the, the input vector no label, no target label. So what you have to do is try to find the common patterns, try to find the patterns that are hidden in the data set. But how about the reinforcement learning? The idea of reinforcement learning is a little bit different. You have the state and action that you want to do. And then you have another action with the next state. And then finally, you will have some rewards. For example, maybe it's positive rewards or the negative rewards. And if it is the final state, you have to trace back and give this reward to all states that you just passed from the start to the end. For example, you think about the some grids or mm, and you have the start state here and the goal state here. You can leave an agent random walk from one cell to other cell can be go to the right or go down can be any and then maybe in some cell you have some immediate rewards or maybe some negative rewards for example and you may want your agent walk through this cell to the goal and try to avoid this cell. So this is like uh, can be applied to many real world application. If you can form the state and you can find the action from that state, you can do the reinforcement learning. You could work with the reinforcement learning to find the best set of action that you can apply to the state, any state. So we will talk about the idea of Q learning. I'll tell you in the next video that what is the Q learning and how can we develop the Q learning one. See you in the next video clip.